My name is Walt Matsui, and uh, I'm one of six children of uh, Masanaka and Tomi Matsui. And uh, before the war, uh, we were on a farm. Uh, life, you know, wasn't really easy. We didn't have, you know, buses or anything to go to school. So, and then uh, when the war broke out, I was just, I had just entered high school in Redondo Beach High. Both my mother and father, they came from Kochi, Japan. And my mother came when she was, uh, uh, I think she was 10 years old. And she came with her family. And, and my father, he came uh, to the U.S. in, uh, let's see, 1907, I think it was. And he kind of was roaming around all, you know, different, different cities and different areas, but. Basically, he was uh, kind of in the farming business. Now, during the war, uh, right after the war started, I guess, uh, it was in about February in the evening, uh, two FBI agents came to the house, and I didn't get to talk to them, but my brother did. And then they uh, had him pack a little bag and they took him away. And then uh, later on, I guess my brother found out where he was incarcerated. Uh, I think it was the Los Angeles County Jail. And then later on moved to Tahonga. And then later on, he was moved to uh, New Mexico. And then from there, he had a hearing, and he came back uh, with us in camp in Santa Anita. And then we went to Aurora, Arkansas. And we, we spent, well, many years, four years or so there. We were kind of worried because we didn't know exactly where he was going what was going to happen and you know that doubt kind of created a little anxiety but Seabrook Farms they they recruited you know a lot of people from camp the Japanese workers that somehow liked uh, the Japanese work habit but anyway, my father uh, was a handyman at the, they had a housing project. And he was a handyman for the housing project. He wasn't a very active person. You know, he just let things go. <laughs> he didn't meddle into other people's affairs and stuff. I guess it's his samurai upbringing. <laughs> 